not really. Really? <laughs> yeah, they care if you're. They see you as, oh, this is daddy a dream, this is what we do. That's Well, hi. You've just had your first exercise in Native American way. <laughs> I don't know if any of you have ever heard of Indian time, but uh, Grandfather Wallace is on Indian time right now, which um, translate as, translates as spirit time, which means that everything happens in its proper time. And uh, so we'll all get our lessons of waiting and um, hoping that he comes. <laughs> And uh, he, he, Grandfather always talks about that we need four qualities, patience, endurance, courage, and alertness. So he'll give you a little exercise in patience tonight. I'm Connie Marlowe, and I am the founder of Friends of Earth People, which is a small foundation here in the Valley that's been bringing Native Americans to the Valley since 1991. Uh, the vision and mission of Friends of Earth People is that the Native people have been holding information for all of mankind for thousands of years that we haven't allowed in our belief systems. And so we feel that once we access this information and come to understand that it has to do with the true nature of the universe, that we will begin to make choices in our lives um, that will put us more in balance and harmony with the rest of creation. So I have spent the past few years bringing Native American elders here to the valley to do perform ceremonies and give workshops and lectures in an effort to present this information to the mainstream so that uh, we can take that information and, and in our leadership role in the world, we can start to model a new way of walking on earth. So um, one thing, uh, Wallace is here tonight, will be here tonight, and as you've noticed, it's a, it's a free talk. We're not uh, asking for donations or charging for him to speak. And on the table over there, there's some bumper stickers from Friends of Earth people that have the concepts uh, that are taken from the concepts of Native American thought that are also giveaways to you. And I would just like to, uh, to say that this giveaway is an example for you to take home with you and then maybe start to give away from your heart to the next person. Uh, that is at the foundation of Native American thinking is the giveaway. And um, it's something we've, we've missed in our belief system that uh, we, we, have a, we have a system of, shall we call it hoarding? <laughs> uh, it's called saving. It's called hoarding. It's called whatever it is that what we've, we've been doing in this uh, amassing of wealth system that we have. And uh, it's, my, it's my observation over the past 10 years that I've been spending with the Native American people that the giveaway is at the foundation of bringing abundance into your own life. So it's actually the opposite of what we have um, been led to believe. 
So I would just suggest that you take that home and uh, try it out. I'm sure many of you, most of you, all of you, are doing it already because we're really getting tired of charging for what we do and counting and keeping track. So I'm sure that it's something that's tugging at your hearts already. And so I just wanted to um, point that out with the hopes of uh, inspiring people to uh, maybe do things a little differently after tonight. Uh, Wallace, I'm going to introduce Wallace. He's, he's on his way. He left Denver, and uh, they're coming over the pass. And I'm sure the woman who's bringing him is fretful. But uh, meanwhile, we'll, I'll introduce Wallace, and then I will open it up. If he's not here, I will open it up for anybody to ask any questions of me or to make comments or to um, ask questions of the group and people can answer what, whatever they know. Uh, Damien wants us to keep this thing rolling, so we'll keep it rolling. So I'll just introduce Grandfather and then we'll move right into a, a talking circle uh, until Grandfather gets here. So um, I need a drink. It's hot out here in the sun. Yeah. One thing I might say before I introduce grandfather is that I've, I've been spending a lot of time with the native people of the Americas over the past few years. And I've been getting clues as to how we walk in balance with the earth and the rest of creation from the native American people. and. And what I've ascertained is that most of it has to do with almost exactly the opposite of everything we've been taught and that our ancestors and forefathers have passed down through the generations in Western thought. So uh, I would suggest tonight when you listen to grandfather that you open your hearts and open your minds to hearing concepts that you've never heard before and that won't make sense when you first hear them, but ponder them and see how they resonate with your heart and your own knowing and get your head out of the way because it's your heart that knows the truth and how the, how the universe truly works. You know it. You know everything. It's just that your head has been trained since birth that it's this way, not that way. And um, what grandfather, listening to grandfather, you can get some clues that maybe it's that way, not this way. And uh, I don't know how many of you have seen Bullworth and uh, The Truman Show, but those two mainstream movies have started to punch holes in our belief systems and in our, in, in our systems. And it's really heartening to see because I just hear this stuff when I'm hanging out with these old elders. And my thought has shifted entirely uh, out of the prevailing paradigm. And uh, it's nice to see that the mainstream is starting to um, bring this questioning frame of mind to the public through um, the movies. So I recommend those two movies if you uh, want to have some fun and start to uh, confirm some of your own questioning about what we're doing here, here in 1998. <laughs>